it's like the same stages, so yeah. it'll be more of a in-game difference than a out-of-game difference. That, or than a, than a metagame difference, rather. I feel like that's the nature of a lot of these more speed demon characters, as opposed to like the more control-oriented characters, where like, yeah, we're going to the same kind of stages. We're going to be kind of nice no matter where you pick and where you ban. And we're starting things off with Julesville. So, you know the combos are going to be spicy when they do actually land, but both players immediately just trying to stay just shy of their own range because they don't want to overextend. For sure. And, like, you're going to be watching this platform, like, basically at all times for uh, for both sides. Oh, Fruit Loops going for the... Going for a bit of an awkward recovery, but able to mix it up with access to said platform. And don't forget the package flying o overhead. That's going to be a huge boon for any sort of raster quick extensions in sort of a dirty way. I like the hold on this up special just to get the needles out to make for a somewhat safer recovery low to the uh, the ledge. Like, mix-ups on your recovery are going to be paramount to surviving this, and of course covering those mix-ups is what's going to lead to victory. Yeah, the quick extension from the Raster's Falling Fair immediately comboing into the up clap. Uh, that's, I feel like, one of the big and one of the big things and can be exploited from the part of an explosion as we see a DAC has come out from Fruit Loops to close out that stock in well good time. Uh, the focus on verticality is going to be huge on the part of uh, Fruit Loops. And once he realizes that Nex has been focusing on trying to combo into up clap versus uh, forward clap throughout the entire game, uh, throughout the entire day, then it turns. It turns your DI routes a lot more consistent in order of survival, even if you are going to still be taking a ton of damage. Oh, he does it again, Hank. Yeah, you know, he's like doing that. It's Woo. keeping things safe. It's tacking the damage on, and it's making this comeback look really strong. But at the same time, I feel like Nex has been doing a better job of controlling the stage itself because while Fruit Loops is getting these reversals at the ledge and making a lot out of them, Nex is demanding where the battle goes. Oh, going starting off with the... With the neutral special, and it gets a huge punish out of him. 56 and climbing, but able to challenge, and any raster challenge can turn into so much. It could have even turned into death if not uh, for Fruit Loops trying to prepare around it. Throwing out these needles, trying to find good ways to land, and finally on the ground, it, there it was. Took a tour of the town, but somehow Fruit Loops is the one who came out on top. Yeah. That's wild how it's your clip, but you're not on the windscreen. Yeah. Up and down and all around we go, but all he needed was that one needle and the missed fair, that simple overshoot. Where did he falter? He felt he he faltered right. We're gonna right here, just ever so slightly holding too far. And the mix-up on Di, where you start out holding out and then change it mid-hit in order to get behind in a almost in an artificial way. But a get behind, once you're behind Raster and once you're out of the combo, you can really exploit how lightweight Raster is. One of the aspects of Raster that has just been living with this character since creation oh, is yeah. that if you overextend, if you put too much into your offensive front, like mispositioning with this character or being just one jump too short or even in the tiniest bit of end lag is disaster for this character. And we're even seeing a bit of that in the beginning of game two. Well, he just missed that down tilt punish, but he gets another forge strong, the best move in the game. Still, I mean, it's not taking the stock anytime soon, but the fact that it is able to be a consistent finisher means he'll close out it eventually, especially if uh, an explosion is still, uh, still going to be falling into those traps. There, another one. Again, every time he's looking for up clap. He's looking for you to DI in exactly once before he goes into the strong. It looked like there was a lack of DI on that last hit, too. True. So it was a bit on the further right hand edge of that strong, but it still worked. It still would have caught poor DI, would have caught DI in, but. Oh, that's, how's that for a catch? That's a pretty good back air. <laughs> and yeah, that touched on what I was bringing up earlier. Like, you position yourself along the slipstream in situations like that because you know Raster's going to be there. He wants to come back on stage, and having the best aerial movement that you can is what's going to make that the easiest. Yeah, and it's been a lot of early slip streams as oh another uh, attempt at a tongue, but not gonna find uh, not gonna find the connection twice over it means that this game is effectively even choosing to play it safe and play it very much close to center, focusing on stage control as we were mentioning there, Hangman, just all all in on how much mobility slipstream can provide horizontally, even if he's not extending too far. The, the bubble, bubble. <laughs> the man's best friend. It really does make certain Frog's situations feel like a 2v1. Like, bubble positioning can make this character last a lifetime. And it can pay off in spades if you use it offensively, setting up into just the tiniest hit. And next is sent off soaring. 
he got the actual sour spot of <laughs> Rano uh, forward air. Not the hit that sends outward, but the headbutt hit of that forward kick to send straight into the bubble. What a... I mean, it gives you plenty of time to react, because once he's touched in the bubble, he's gone. And the ledge movement from Fruit Loops has been crazy. I, I would know. Oh! <laughs> another one. Another one of these tongue. And that was such a good catch, too, because it was also while mispositioning around making sure you didn't get clapped. Over committing to the, uh, to the forward clap, though, as uh, Fruit Loops was in free a special fall the entire time. But the no! No! <laughs> oh, tra tragedy in motion as dash attack. No! no! Come on! <laughs> it only got worse. <laughs> it only got worse. <laughs> It's a it's a big heap of spaghetti pile from, from my yeah, no. <laughs> bro. No, that, that one was just that was straight up lasagna. That was layers oh, yeah. of mistakes. That was uh, something. That was certainly. I something. like the I like the gusto to go for a fancy finish while you're on stream, but also can please just do it. Okay, it's okay. Like sometimes, especially at those high percents, you just need a simple strong. Or F tilt into one. I mean, Raster can sometimes do you some. Raster, sometimes it's the easiest. Don't get me wrong. Right. I like hearing the eagle cry too when you get that uh, that on. reverse hit, but oh. you actually land it, and that's unfortunate. That's tragic. But it happens when. It, I, I mean, I really like the stage pick here. But as uh, I was going into a little bit before uh, at, the, at the beginning of the set, both characters kind of enjoy the same stages. So while you do like this stage's raster thanks to the multi-level platforms and the easy and the ease of which you can force uh, characters off stage. Like both of these characters, Rano likes it too. <laughs> they they both march to the same drum beat when it comes to yeah you can move all over that here but this is my space and just even the, from the aerial space to the ground space is next doing a fantastic job of trying to make a comeback from an early loss. Yeah. Oh, gets, gets still going, him. still going. Couple back airs, not trying to commit too early, looking for a downer at that point. But Fruit Loops goes high and comes straight down on his head. Now we're seeing these two scrap in between. Gets the sour hit of the uh, of the up clap. Back to center he goes. Uh, explosion, not pushing too far off stage, and instead just trying to rather rinse Ooh. and repeat, well, conditioning ever so often going. But every time he went high, he forced him back off stage. Reset, reset. As soon as the mix-up came, that's when he was ready. And the fact that like, Fruit Loops positioned the bubble so obviously where he wanted to adjust his recovery just made the situation perfect for Nexus. He has all the time in the world to set up for a kill, but it was Fruit Loops with a solid read on the platform. Tight stocks. Yeah, Rano up smash doing it yet again. It got nerfed a little bit before, but it's still incredibly strong in so many facets. Getting plenty of needles, just charging. Yeah, no, these charge cancels, I'm liking this move because you don't want to commit too heavily to moving about when Slipstream is set up. You see Nex hunting around for this kill setup. Punishes the Slipstream setup with a Daka, so trying to get back to stage very quickly, destroys it and uses all the resources to get back. He's without a jump, but in the hard DI away, Nets him back on stage and back into an up strong. He's too scrapping oh. back and forth. The tech roll gets the up gets him out of the up strong. Staying alive <laughs> by a hair. This is so doable for next. It's just a matter of getting the one confirm and is not gonna get it from that situation. Count how many plat drop aerials these two are throwing <laughs> out. They are all in like as soon as they're landing, it's like, alright, we're time it's time to scrap again. Going for a dash tack, but with no slipstream, there was no combo, but there the is that bubble! The Bubble, you oh no! Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> save, save, save. <laughs> yup. He put the bubble there, expecting. All right, he's gonna go for another clap. He's been doing that. I'm gonna get to my bubble. I'm gonna be safe. <laughs> no. He flew so fast. He's like, I'll do it again. Psych. The, the bubble brace that impact, but you can't stay in the safe haven for long. All right, the bands being looks like endless abyss. Uh, Spirit trees Sp down. Spirit Tree, and he's got one more. One more ban. The question is, what are we taking away? Because as you've highlighted, and as we've seen functionally throughout this game, uh, the set rather, both these characters are operating really well on each other's oh, spaces. Yeah. Rockwall. Rockwall? Uh, yeah, no, Rock... <laughs> 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 uh, he's thinking... I mean, I really like the... 
I, I really like Rano with a lot of platforms available to them, even if the stage is rather large, which is a part of why Frozen Fortress ended up looking so strong for Fruit Loops and Fire Capital in the same kind of vein. You are forcing Nexplosion to almost have to land one extra read in order to try and finish some of these stocks sometimes, which is going to be important when everyone's going to be surviving by the skin of their teeth. Ooh. Not that time, though. <laughs> And such yeah. a well-crafted combo, and it looks like just enough hits were put in where even if you had solid DI, you were not coming back from that one alive. Yeah, the galaxy came out, which means he, even Dan said you're gone. <laughs> yeah, there, there seems to be a level of confidence behind the buttons in Fur Loops in this game for and like he's been playing just fine so far. But like the combos are looking extra spicy here. That bubble, it's keeping him alive! Bubble. But not for long! Oh, combo through the bubble. He only lasts so long in there and just with those extra dumps, threw out a couple more forward airs. Open the Nair parry into a could, could be a huge punish and it will be one as he closes out the stock with an up air one into up strong. I mean, that's such a good fall. That looks so saucy. That is what you need, but you also have to watch out for the slipstream in order to try and continue to catch those tongues. Now, we've been seeing in action why this is such a good pick for Fruit Loops, but I think one thing that Explosion has been also showcasing when they do get a chance to play the game is the gift of space that's on Fire Capital and how well Raster can make use of that because when he is able to move around, he's looking really good. It's just a matter of how often can he move before being thrown into scrappy scenarios. The challenge into the ledge cancel, what was what would normally be a huge risk, turned into a minimal one, though the upstrong does make up for it. Oh, he needed that to close out that stock there, trying to keep in a try, take into account where the bubble is and avoid it at almost all costs. An explosion needing this stock right now in order to try and mount this comeback as, uh, as Raster can close out a stock at just about any percent. But you need to make certain that you do it soon. That's a down special <laughs> instead of just down instead of just dash attack with the slipstream into up strong. That almost looked like an up arrow as well. Again, Next is trying everything. Does manage to close it out. And all of a sudden, game five is within reach. It just takes the spiciest combo you can deliver all bracket and not landing into strong attacks. That's the, the ideal, right? As I think <laughs> I know what Fruit Loops wants. <laughs> he wants this W. He wants, he wants, he wants down strong specifically <laughs> as we see it come out yet again, giving the explosion another set and another time to just set up Slipstream and get something rolling here. Okay, best move in the game. <laughs> that was the silliest hit you could have gotten out of that. Oh, driving back and forth, trying to mix Ooh. up with the dash chance, but he did not find it up there. Doesn't close out even with the second hit. Destroys the slipstream, keeps them back in neutral. And now Fruit Loops is changing up his mo his movement, looking to play around these platforms, gets the sour spot. And he was almost there. That platform movement was so good. What is the... They're actively laughing. The bubble! <laughs> Not like this! He's just... Do, again, one, how many more times are we going to do this? <laughs> He's trying to get the silliest finish to the set. <laughs> so confident that he can get the W. So confident. <laughs> and the most extravagant pop-off that we've what? seen in a bit. <laughs> For no reason other than he can. <laughs> For a moment, I thought Explosion was involved in that pop-up. I hope so. I, I hope really so. thought that he was on camera popping for his lad. Oh. Just. I mean, hey, he got the dive. Yeah, he. he dive I mean, kick. we're we're playing. We're we're out here with Marvel, you know. Dive kick. <laughs> Yo, it worked.